friends, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how I plan for the month. I find yearly, monthly, daily planning to be very beneficial and therapeutic, and it really helps me pay attention to my time so that I don't waste any of it. What I love about bullet journaling is you can customize it to your specific needs. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I will show you how I plan my months, weeks, and days. All right guys, hang with me because this is gonna go fast. I like to start my month out with a monthly front page where I choose two fonts and one to three colors to kind of set the tone for what the style will be like throughout the month so that each month is kind of cohesive. And then I do the index. Now the index is so important to me because throughout the month, as I make any specific spreads, I come and I write them down here. And because I bullet journal year in and year out, it makes it really easy for me to just pick a book off the shelf and source any information I'm looking for. Now I am starting my monthly overview and this is my most like referenced spread I would say throughout the month. I always do it very similar. I always have a visual calendar, a spot for my goals or my priorities like you see there, and then I do a few columns for whatever I want to keep track of. Now my first column, which I do do every single month, is the schedule column. And then this month, because we're wanting to focus on our finances, I'm going to do a meal plan column. So I'm going to do a meal plan out of the ingredients we have on hand in our freezer and pantry for the entire month. Now we won't necessarily stick to this meal plan rigidly, however, on a busy day when we feel a little crazy, we're not gonna just throw our hands up in the air and get expensive takeout for six people. We're gonna go back to the meal plan and see if there's something we can quickly pull out of the fridge or freezer. And this just helps us to kind of stay, save money and not be so stressed out because any of you moms out there know that cooking for your family three times a day, every day, gets kind of exhausting and boring. Like you just get tired of eating your own food. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the last column here is the food log and that is for my six month old who started to eat solid foods. I just need to keep a record of food allergens as we're going through and trying new stuff. And if I don't put it on one of my often referenced pages, then I will not keep up with it. I will also index that. So that's a good example of something I'll want to go back through my bullet journal in like three years I'll probably pull this book out and flip to that page and it'll just help me spark sweet memories of my fourth child which helps because let's face it as you get older those memories get harder to find don't they so now I am working on my um, monthly tracker page. Now I do create this sheet every month. I don't always fill it in every month, but I find it super helpful because at the end of the month when I go back and I look over my pages, if I've had like a bad month or I've had any kind of emotional difficulty or frustration, I can usually go back and say, oh well look you didn't do your Devo time every day or well look you didn't exercise this month and last month you exercised, you exercised and felt better. You know, so it just helps me keep like a self check so I can take good care of myself without a lot of extra time and attention really. So now I'm working on my weekly outlook. I do do this every week. Uh, this week I probably won't spend a lot of time here because I just really don't like the way that this turned out. So next week I will do it different. When my spreads turn out good, I have less need for the daily pages. When these spreads don't turn out good, then I use my daily pages more, which I will this week. Now I'm gonna quickly fast forward through this because like I said, I'm not super happy with the way this spread turned out. And then we're going to get into my daily spreads. Now my daily spreads are kind of like my bread and butter. You'll see me flip and start it in just a minute. But on the left side of the page, I have room for my morning pages because I wake up and I write an entire page here. You can see me start it of just my thoughts every day to kind of get my mental fuzz out of my brain. And it really just helps. And after I do my morning page every day, then the other side of the sheet is kind of just like a really simple to-do list, but also like a landing page. So whenever anything comes up, 
appointments, maybe a text message I wasn't able to get to, or a client I need to look up. I just jot it all down on that right side of the page and it doesn't get lost in the ether. So this process takes me about 30 minutes at the beginning of the month, 10 minutes at the beginning of each week, and you know, 10 to 15 minutes throughout the day to keep up on each day, and it just saves my life. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Let me know if you found this useful, and I will catch you next time. Bye.